Remember darkness separating from darkness, nameless forms suggesting names. First the high cliffs gilded, then the masses of cloud and creosote, the thin shine of a stream, the far-off interstate. Here a spine of desert coral, there a bone-dry yucca, and bursting from the brambles, the shivering speck of a sparrow, leading away from camp, your own footsteps in the dust. Last night I broke my right pinky and ring finger, what they call a boxer's fracture. It was my own goddamned doing. Now they're swathed in gauze, pressing soft as footsteps onto the blank page, leaving little blue traces. This is a story written as broken fingers can write, crooked like that and every phrase a labor of blueberry wretchedness. God is not a voice I know, or only as an echo, but I come to you breathing golden sighs of smoke, tensile, as if I were drawing a bow, I mean as if I were about to pluck a lyre, glamour humming warmly all around me like summer heat, heavy with the red and suffocating scent of strawberries. At the very least, and if nothing else, I can promise you that the author is beautiful, not because I am staring at her in the mirror, but because I am floating just beside her head, knocking at the window. Heathcliff, it's me.